Paul's iOS device is a proud supporter of the It Can Wait campaign. Texting and driving. It can wait. You don't have an AirPrint printer? Don't worry. The XPrint server is here to help. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Paul here with Paul's iOS device with an unboxing and setup of the XPrint server from Lantronics. Now what this is is actually an iOS print server of sorts. It enables printing from AirPrint enabled applications to almost any printer with no need to install any printer drivers or download applications to your iOS device. With the world going all things mobile, the ability to print from these devices still hasn't seen as much progression as the handsets themselves, so printing has been difficult with non-AirPrint printers. There have been workarounds by having to download printer specific applications which limits you to these particular printers, especially troublesome for enterprises who have existing investments in legacy printers. Lantronics has two XPrint server editions, the home edition with support for up to two printers and the office edition with unlimited support, but Lantronics recommends five to 10 printers per XPrint server. The XPrint server supports all new generation Apple devices with iOS 4.2 and later, supports over 4,000 printer models from manufacturers including HP, Toshiba, Canon, Lexmark, Xerox, and Epson, and supports Internet Explorer version 8 and up, Firefox version 7 and up, Safari version 5 and up, and Google Chrome version 14 and up. Let's go ahead and crack this packaging open. Inside the outermost information box is a minimalistic, more durable white box with the Lantronics X on the top, and nothing else around the sides. Within this box you will see the XPrint server presented on top. This is the office edition so it is gray in color. The home edition is white. It is not heavy at all since there aren't many internals and the material is a textured matte finish with the Lantronics branding located on top. The ports consist of a USB port for plugging in non-wireless printers. In the middle is your Ethernet port for connecting to your home network and on the far right is the power outlet port. With nothing on the sides or ends, on the bottom are two wall mounting slits and a small hole for resetting the XPrint server. We're going to set this off to the side and dig more deeply into the box. Digging deeper into the box we will see the provided Ethernet cable on top and below that is a large plastic bag with what looks like power supplies. Let's open this up to see what's all included. Let's slide that out of the way. It looks like multiple country specific attachments. One is European outlet uh, plug it looks like. Next is a British plug. And finally an Australian plug all included in the box. And the final accessory is the power cord with the US prongs attached. And it looks like these prongs are retractable. And on the other end, this is what plugs into your product. Now let's finally get to setting the XPrint server up to the network. The first thing we need to do is to plug the power cord into a wall outlet and then attach the other end into the XPrint server. By doing this, the orange X will illuminate, letting you know that the server has power, as you can see here. Next, we will take the provided Ethernet cable and remove it from the packaging and then attach it first to your network. And then once that is attached, you will then do the same with the other end attaching it to the XPrint server. Once the XPrint server is attached to your network via the Ethernet cable, the server will then scan your network for all of your wireless printers connected. The Lantronics X will then pulse orange when it is ready to print. I will fast forward through a little bit of this because it does take uh, maybe a minute or so before the X actually starts pulsating instead of just flashing. This entire setup process really only takes a couple minutes so be patient. Pretty soon we're going to see the orange LED start pulsating and here we go. And again, now that the Lantronics X is pulsating orange, that is indication letting you know that you are able to print. 
I am now going to remove the XPrint server from my network to show you that my printer is not an AirPrint enabled printer. Once removed, I am going to try and print a note from my notes application by selecting the share button at the bottom of the screen and then selecting print. After selecting the print, you get these printer options and now you can search for your printer. The iPad is now searching my network for a printer and since my printer is not AirPrint enabled, my iPad is unable to print this note. Now let's reconnect the XPrint server to the network and see if we can now print from the notes application. So let's reconnect the Ethernet cable to the Lantronix XPrint server. Now let the XPrint server reconnect to the network and locate the connected printers. Now with the XPrint server reconnected, I can select the share button and can now print from my previous non-AirPrint printers. So let's head into the notes application and locate the note once again. Once the note is selected, we can select the share button at the bottom and select print. And from here you get your printer options and now as you can see, my printer is now located. So let's go ahead and print from my iPad. Let's go ahead and select the printer. Let's wait a second for it to connect. Once it is done connecting, you have these other printer options to where you can select the amount of copies you would like to print. As soon as you select print, you can now double press your home button to see your printer status in the task switcher by selecting the print center app. From there, you can see the print summary to find out the status of your prints. And as you can see in the status area, it is still printing. So I'm going to put a picture in picture here so you can see my printer in action. It is now kicking on and printing the note from my notes application. And it's going to spit it out here really soon. And there you go. The print has successfully printed, as you can see here. Now if you want to manage your XPrint server, Lantronix has a web server at www.lantronix.com slash info slash xprint server slash find dash my dash xprint server so that you can manage your xprint server. I'll have that long link in the description down below. Just type in the device's serial number in the text box and you will then get your xprint server's system status. You can view the past print jobs and even reconfigure your password. If you get this window telling you there is authentication required, just go ahead and select cancel and then you will be redirected to your system status. The XPrint server from Lantronix is the only one of its kind to allow you to print using your AirPrint enabled applications to your non-AirPrint printers and I'd have to say that it works seamlessly with your iOS devices and it is a breeze to set up. With more and more things going digital and mobile, the XPrint server will be used more and more in my household as time goes by. If you are interested in the XPrint server from Lantronics, the pricing and availability is located in the description below, so go check that out. Well, that was the unboxing and setup of the XPrint server from Lantronics. If you have yet to do so, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on all of the latest reviews and unboxings, as well as follow me on all of your favorite social networks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it as it is the easiest way to help out the channel. It is always appreciated. As always, this is Paul with Paul's iOS device. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. God bless.